So now more than ever, I'm pretty sure that we all know that the dropshipping market is as big as it's ever been, and it's only getting bigger. And because of that, right now is the perfect time to actually jump into the e-commerce world to start making some money. Now, for those of you that are wanting to make the jump, but you're not entirely sure how you can find either what's trending or some trending products, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because I'm gonna give you one amazing tool that's gonna help you find some of the best selling items, and you're also gonna be able to use it as proof, so that way you know which item you can actually sell and which ones are going to be trending now before we continue on and actually get into it my name is mario with AutoDS, and make sure if you haven't done so already make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos remember that on this channel we cover anything and everything that has to do with drop shipping starting from some of the best tips and tricks to be able to help you succeed all the way to some of the best products to be able to maximize your profits so if that's something that interests you just make sure you hit that subscribe button also to go along with this video i'm going to have down in the description below a link to to the relevant article. If you want more information on this particular tool, then you can go ahead and just check that out. So enough talking, what tool am I referring to? What is this amazing tool that can help you find best selling products and let you know whether or not they're trending or not? It's Google Trends. So Google Trends is an amazing tool that dropshippers can use to their advantage to be able to find what niches and what products are currently trending. So pretty much what this tells you is what is a search volume on Google? How many people are searching for this particular product or this niche or this particular search term that you're going to be looking for. Now, depending on the results that we get from that, we can determine at that point whether the search term that we looked for or whatever item that we looked for is actually worth selling or not. So how exactly does Google Trends work and how can we use it to our advantage? Well, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer screen and let me show you. So here we are on the Google Trends website, which is simply trends.google.com. But if you want a direct link to it, you can simply just check out the article in the description below. Everything will be in there. Now, all we have to do is simply just search up a particular niche or a particular product that we're interested in selling. So in this case, we actually just passed summer. So one of the most popular niches that you can sell during the summer is, of course, going to be bathing suits. Now, let's take that as a quick example. Let's go ahead and look up bathing suits and let's see what it gives us. So right off the bat, the first thing that we see is the search results for the past day. This is not going to help us in any way whatsoever. What we want is either the last year or the last five years. So on here, a cool feature is the fact that you can actually change the different country that you're going to be searching for. Typically, I stick to the United States, but if you're dropshipping in let's say the United Kingdom, you can switch us over to the United Kingdom to see what the search results are over in the UK. You can see whether it's trending over there or not. There are going to be times where certain niches or certain products are going to be trending more in a different country rather than the one that you're currently dropshipping in. So sometimes bathing suits can be trending in the US but not in the UK or let's say gaming accessories at one point might be trending more in the UK rather than the US. So just keep that in mind for whatever country that you're dropshipping in. Now you also have a few other options that you can choose from here. So as I mentioned earlier, the moment that you land on your search results, you're going to see the search results for the past day. Again, that's not going to help us out, but we're going to get to that in just a quick second. Aside from that, you can also change the category. So these are the categories that people are going to be searching in. Typically, I like to keep this blank because I like to look for a particular search term. But if you do want to check out the different categories and see what's trending, you can do that as well. And you're not limited to just web searches. Using Google Trends, you can see what image searches people have been looking for, along with news, Google Shopping and YouTube. So let's say you're a content creator and you're making videos on YouTube, you can see what niches are trending using Google Trends. So let's leave all of these at a default. We're going to keep it at the US with all categories and the basic web search. Now let's go ahead and go back in time. So as I mentioned, this search results right here are for the past day. Now what I want to do is I want to switch it over to the past year and see where we are. So right now we're actually in the beginning of September, which means summer is long gone. So the searches for bathing suits in theory should start to go down. And just looking over here, we can see that that is exactly the case. So you can see that it started rising right around January, February and and it peaked right at the end of May. Now between May and about mid June, it was fairly consistent with people searching for it. But starting in July, it started to go down because let's face it, if you order a bathing suit in July, you're going to be getting it towards the end of July, which is pretty much coming to the end of summer. When somebody is looking for a bathing suit, they're typically going to be searching for it right before summer. And that is exactly when you want to start preparing your store. Now, these are the search results for the past year. This can help us out to see what the current search volume is. But if we want to compare this information to the past few years and actually see where these search results are ranking and around what time we should actually be listing these bathing suits or whatever niche or product it is that you're looking for, then we want to go back for the last five years. So for that, let's just go ahead and switch this over to past five years. And now you can see a clear trend. So as you can see, not a lot of people are searching for bathing suits around October because let's face it, who's going to go swimming in the middle of November, right? It's too cold for that. So it makes sense that people are not looking for bathing suits around this time. Now, if we start looking over here, we can see that around December, it kind of starts to go up, but around the end of December is when it really starts to actually rise. So we can see here the 
the trend starts to rise up until about March. Now in March, it dips a little bit, which isn't really a big deal. And then it continues to rise all the way to about the beginning of June. Around the beginning of June is when it starts to dip again. Once again, it's because people stop searching for these because people already have their bathing suits. So while there is going to be a lot of traffic for these keywords or for these products, it's not going to be as much as it is in, let's say, the month leading up to it. So as you can see in 2019, it peaked at around June 1st. Then it started to go down. Then it started to rise up once again around the same time in December, peaked at June, around the beginning of June, the first two weeks of June. And it just continues the same exact trend. Peaks back up, down, peaks back up. So using this information right here that Google Trends is giving us for 100% free, we know when we want to start stocking up our items for bathing suits. In this case, I would say around the beginning of the year. Start stocking up around the beginning of the year for the next few months, start building up an inventory and a bunch of different variations and a bunch of different styles. So that way, when people really start to search for it around the month leading up to the summer, you're going to be ready and you're going to have tons of different products that people are going to be looking for. Now, a cool feature with Google Trends is the fact that you can see the search results by a particular region. So in this case, since we're looking in the United States, we can actually see which states are Googling bathing suits more than others. So that way we can target these particular locations more than others so we can increase our chances for a sale. So if you scroll right down, you're going to see interest by subregion. And on here, you can see the top five that have been searching for bathing suits in this case. So we have New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Delaware. In the past five years, these states have had the highest search results for our particular search term bathing suits. Now, if we want to increase our chances even more for a sale, then we also want to start including different keywords within our descriptions and within our titles or even within our tags if you're selling, let's say, on Etsy. And on this, Google Trends can also help us. So if you scroll down right under the subregion, we can see related topics as well as related queries. So these are all different searches that people have been searching for in relation to our current search term bathing suits. Now, I can't stress enough how important it is to do your research when it comes to different keywords. If you use the proper keywords and you optimize your SEO or search engine optimization, then all of these things put together can increase your chances of your website being found organically on websites like Google. So when somebody searches up, let's say bathing suits or bathing suits, plus any one of these particular queries that people are searching for, your website is actually more likely to be able to show up so people can make a click on it. <laughs> Now, looking at some of the related queries right now, you can see that Bathing Suits 2020 have a breakout, which a breakout means simply that there is massive search volumes when it comes to this particular search term. Aside from that, we also have Demon Slayer Bathing Suits, which of course Demon Slayer is an anime, which is one of my personal favorites. But unfortunately, we can't sell those because they're copyright. But that doesn't mean we can't sell anime bathing suits with original anime designs that we create. Aside from that, in this case, you also have Bathing Suits 2019, Fair Harbor Bathing Suits, and Shein Plus Size Bathing Suits bathing suits. So these search terms have been the ones that have been the most searched for in the past five years. Now let's actually go ahead and switch this over to the past year and let's see what people have been searching for in the past year. So scrolling down, we can see that we have best bathing suits 2023, tug friendly bathing suits. Now let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit. So instead of bathing suits, let's go ahead and type in gaming accessories. Let's see what the search volume is for that in the past five years. And as we can see here, it has peaks around December, around December and around December. More than likely, the reason for these peaks is going to be the holiday seasons like Christmas. So a lot of people are going to be searching up gaming accessories so they can purchase gifts for, let's say, their kids or their friends or whoever it may be. So now let's check out the different search queries within the last year related to gaming accessories. So I'm going to switch this over to the past 12 months and I'm going to scroll down. So let's scroll down here and we can see related queries. So for one, we have Nintendo Switch games, Wii accessories, which is actually pretty interesting because the Wii is actually an outdated console from maybe like five years ago. You also have history books, mini fridge and cookbook books. How these three relate to gaming accessories, I'm not entirely sure. Well, the mini fridge I can get because you can have a mini fridge right next to you while you're gaming. <laughs> That'll be pretty cool. But according to Google Trends, these are the related queries when people search up gaming accessories. Aside from that, some other topics you can see are the docking station or a Wii U video game console. Maybe people actually like the retro games, so they want to have some retro video games for Christmas and a few others. So as you can see, if you're selling gaming accessories, one hot item that you can potentially sell is going to be accessories for the Wii or or even a mini fridge to be able to complement your video game setup. Now using this extremely valuable information that we just learned, we can go ahead and start searching up different items, different niches, different categories to be able to see what's trending and what's going to be trending based on past data. Now, after we did our research and we found out what products we actually want to drop ship, then the next thing we need to do is actually find those products 
to be able to offer in our stores. And doing so is probably one of the easiest things that you can do. So one of the best ways to do this is simply by heading over to AutoDS. Now this method does require you to have an account with AutoDS, but if you don't have one, you can currently start your trial for just $1. Now, once you have your account set up and you're logged in, you simply just have to go to the marketplace. Once you're on the marketplace, let's go ahead and switch over our supplier to the AutoDS suppliers. And from here, we have a wide variety of different categories that we can choose from. So that way we can find items in the niche that we're trying to get into or the niche that we're trying to sell. So let's say we decided to go with video game accessories. We can simply just click on toys and hobbies. And here you can find tons of different products that have to do with toys, hobbies, video games, whatever it might be. Now, as I was scrolling, I actually found one perfect item that you can offer in your store. So I came across this case for the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. So if, for those of you that don't know, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con is simply the controller that you use to play your Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a perfect accessory because people love to protect their consoles or their video games or whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and click into it. And you can see the different variations here. So you have two different colors and you have the different pictures to be able to showcase in your store. Now, two quick things that I do wanna highlight here is for one on this particular product you actually have customizable branding so when this product ships it's going to ship with a custom thank you card with your logo on it and don't worry about copyright in this case because this is not a nintendo item this isn't sold by nintendo it's not made by nintendo this is simply an accessory or a video game accessory for your nintendo switch so when it comes to these types of accessories there's tons of different companies that actually make them a lot of different companies make protectors they make covers they make screen protectors grips a bunch of different things so you don't have to worry about copyright in this case because you're not selling the actual joy cons or you're not selling any video games and you're not selling the actual switch console itself you're just selling a simple accessory to protect your nintendo switch console and another thing that i do want to point out is the fact that this item ships between 11 to 14 business days now if it was 11 to 14 business days for the supplier to actually ship out the item then i would say that's going to take a long time because on top of that you also need to take into account the transit time you know how long it's going to be in transit from your supplier to your customer's doorstep but that's not the case in this case the 11 to 14 business days actually includes both shipping and transit time so this is the amount of time it's going to take for the order to actually reach your customer's house from the time they place their order so that's pretty quick shipping because it is within two weeks if something starts to go after that maybe if you start to have items that ship in about a month then you maybe want to stay away from those items and look for items that ship a lot quicker like this one for example remember that in this day and age people want their orders tomorrow but a lot of the times unless you're amazon that's not really possible so two weeks is a very acceptable time frame one month is already starting to push it now let's say that i actually did decide to actually sell this particular item then in order to import it to my store and make any adjustments or start selling it all i have to do is simply click on import draft once i do that it's going to be ready to sell within minutes and that is one of the most powerful tools that you have at your disposal for product research google trends really is an extremely valuable asset that you should be using to your advantage if you're not using google trends then start getting onto it start learning how to use it and start using it for your product research your keyword research because trust me, using Google Trends can really either make or break your dropshipping store. Now, if you found this video informational, if you liked it, if you found it helpful, please make sure you leave a like. It truly helps me and it helps the channel keep growing and it helps us get this information out there to more dropshippers so they can actually start their business, start making some sales and start succeeding. Also, while you're down there leaving a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember, if you want more information on Google Trends, all you have to do is check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link to the relevant article down there. Huge thank you to everyone for watching once again especially if you made it all the way to the end my name is mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business and we'll catch you all next time